Okay, we are in Apache NetBeans 10. We are using JDK 11 here. And so let's create a JavaFX application in Ant. So we're not talking about Maven right now, we're talking Ant based projects. We go next. And immediately we see this. It makes sense because JavaFX is not included in JDK 11. So then we go back and create a normal standard Java application. So we do that. We create an application called Hello JDK 11 Java FX. And we click finish. There is our project. Um, let's uh, delete this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a module info into that. Okay, we've got a module info, so uh, let's call this uh, org.demo. This is our module info file. Next, I'm going to create a new Java class. Call it LLFX. And we'll put it into a package called org.demo. In this, we're going to put some basic JavaFX code, which of course right now doesn't work. And we'll just remove this package that we don't need. Okay, so clearly we don't have JavaFX in the class path. So I've downloaded the JavaFX SDK from OpenJFX.io. Now I'm going to libraries and module path. I'm going to add a jar. And here I'm in the JavaFX SDK, and in there, what is interesting for me is JavaFX controls. So I choose that. I say OK. Now I go into module info. And I want to say requires JavaFX controls. All right. You can see that we now have this on the path. First of all, we're going to add here base, and secondly, graphics. These are essentially two base jars needed from OpenJFX, common to any JavaFX application. Now we see no no error markings at all anymore. So we've we've said that we require JavaFX controls. Next, we're going to say that we're going to support or demo. These two are done. So there are no problems in the editor. What we have done is we are saying that we require JavaFX controls, and we have these two other jars because we need them on the module path, because these are essentially base jars on the module path. Everything is good, but the final step is we need to be able to compile this and run it. To do that, we're going to right click the project, go to properties, go to run, to VM options, and in VM options, we first of all use the argument module path, and secondly the argument add modules. So module path points to the path where my OpenJFX SDK is found, specifically to the lib folder, and the add modules argument points to JavaFX controls. And that's all. Here's the code. Right click, we run, select the main class. Here we have running my very messy desktop, for which I apologize, our message from JavaFX running on JDK 11 in NetBeans. No problems.